Hello all and welcome to another Stats and Methods short. Today we're going to talk about mediation. But before we begin, I would like to ask you to help me appease the algorithm gnomes by liking and sharing this video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment down below. On its face, mediation is a fairly simple, if not necessarily intuitive concept. The essence of it is that the association between variable A and variable C is explained by the association between variable A and variable B. For example, there's a fairly strong correlation between ice cream sales and homicide. I think it's fairly apparent that homicides don't cause people to seek out ice cream, and that when people eat a lot of ice cream, they're not more eager to kill people. So, we do a little digging, and it turns out that both ice cream sales and homicides are associated with warmer weather. As such, warmer weather mediates the association between ice cream sales and homicide. Now, I want to be clear. While mediation does suggest causality, it does not demonstrate it or even really provide evidence of it. The only way mediation can demonstrate causality is if a bunch of other conditions are met, and frankly, that just doesn't happen in the real world. If you'd like to learn more, I'll link a Twitter thread on the subject in the cards. The only way we can determine causality is through true experiments with randomization into conditions. So how do we conduct mediation analyses? Well, the old way of doing it is to conduct a series of regression analyses. The first one has just the predictor and the outcome. This is called the C-path. The second includes the predictor and the mediator. This is called the A-path. And then you run a model with the mediator and the outcome, which is the B-path. If all these models are statistically significant, you can move on to the final step. In said final step, you run a regression model in which you have both the predictor and the mediator predicting the outcome, which gives us the C-prime path. Now you compare the C-path to the C-prime path. If in the latter the slope drops to non-significance, congratulations, you have mediation. If it does drop, but is still significant, then you might have mediation, but this approach cannot tell us if that difference is statistically significant. As such, these days we tend to use a software package called Process, or some equivalent code in R. In short, it does a bunch of fancy math stuff involving simulated data and spits out what it calls the indirect effect. If the indirect effect is significant, then you have mediation. No matter how you analyze mediation, it's also important to do what is called reverse mediation analyses. In a nutshell, you run additional analyses where you swap around which variables are the predictor, the mediator, and the outcome in the model. If these models come back significant, then basically all you can say is that your three constructs share a lot of variance. Well, that's all for now. If you've got a topic you'd like me to cover next, or more thoughts on this one, let me know in the comments.